Chinese tradition is often presented as both patriarchal and patrilineal, where parents in their old age enjoy filial piety from children. Men are often the center of lineage discussions, for both ancestry and offspring. A large number of sons is desirable in your typical Chinese household because of their economic contributions, the function of carrying the family name, and the social security provided to parents as they age. The expectations placed on the Chinese son is accompanied by increased investment in them compared to daughters in terms of educational and occupational opportunities. The purpose of marriage in a culture that puts emphasis on children is for reproduction, with failure to reproduce being considered a disgrace to the ancestors. As a result, infertility is a great threat to union stability in China. The social, economic, and political changes that followed the one-child policy in the 80s really reshaped the Chinese society. The one-child policy that focused was met with a lot of criticism, especially from the rural areas characterized by limited support for the elderly. Limited social support in rural China raises the need for large families where the children offer continuity to the family line, and provide old age, as well as economic, security. Following the backlash, Policymakers re-evaluated the law to allow rural couples an extra child, mostly if they had a girl as their firstborn or they lived in a poor area. As a result, most rural couples in China ended up having a second or a third child. For urban China, the one-child policy was upheld from 1980 to 2015, partly because urban residents expressed minimal interest in having more children. Some reasons often come up when explaining why urban Chinese residents complied with the one-child policy. For instance, urban residents were strictly required to adhere to the policy, otherwise they would lose their jobs and access to welfare services. Also, the increasing cost of raising children reduced the desire to have more children as they would end up stretching the household income. The familial need for those in rural and urban China were completely different. While rural Chinese citizens relied on children for economic security, adequate pension coverage for the urban citizens minimized the dependence on children for financial security. As a result, urban couples were contented with having one child, with most of them choosing to have a single child even when they met the criteria for additional children. Some of the outcomes associated with the one-child policy include reduced marriage rates, especially with the rise of uneducated men, the emergence of highly unbalanced sex ratios at birth, increased sex-selective abortion, especially in the rural areas, and averted childbirth.